Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sybil and I'm a world traveler. So what I like to do is provide you with tours, reviews, um, travel tips and all of the things that relate to travel all around the world um, because it's, I'm really passionate about making sure that people do um, experience the world, they experience the cultures out there and they're not afraid to do so. So welcome to my channel. Like I said, if you're new here, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that little subscribe button. I'd love to have you here and have you notified of all of my new videos. Um, if you have any tips or questions or anything like that, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys are really interested in hearing about and giving you videos that really meet those needs. Obviously, you can tell by my backdrop, I'm not in Mexico, but I just got back from Mexico. I got back from the resort called The Fives Azul Beach Resort. Um, the Fives is located in Playa del Carmen, which is approximately 45 minutes from the Cancun airport. Um, and this particular resort is about 20 minutes from, well, maybe a little less, maybe 15 minutes from actual downtown Playa del Carmen. Um, this resort is a really nice resort. Um, there were a couple of issues. So what I want to do, um, I'm going to change this video up a little bit. Normally I do the walkthrough tour first, and then I give you my, um, review afterwards. This time I'm going to do the review first and then let you do the walkthrough afterwards. So if you like this format, please, again, um, tell me in the comments below. So the fives, um, I've been to the fives, this particular resort, probably, uh, maybe five or six times um, in the past three years. Um, it's a really nice all-inclusive resort and they actually call it, instead of all-inclusive, they call it gourmet inclusive. Um, they're very uh, specifically focused on gourmet food at this resort in their specialty restaurants. So I'll start with the pros and then go into the cons and just tell you guys what uh, my thoughts are um, related to this resort. Um, just to know, let you know this uh, video is not sponsored in any uh, form or fashion and these are all my opinions um, so with that being said I'll just jump right in so um, one of the great things about this resort is the actual resort design um, this resort has about 20 buildings and between most of the buildings there are actually pools so there are a lot of opportunities to get an actual swim up one bedroom suite should you want to pay for that type of accommodation. Um, and the cool thing about these pools is they're free form and they kind of go all around and weave through most of the resort. So if you have one of those cool swim up pools in front of your, um, in front of your room, then what you can do is get out, get into the pool, then kind of go out, mingle with other people, um, actually go into the more public areas. Um, it's a really, really cool design. I've not seen many locations that have a design like this where the pools are interconnected and you can actually swim quite a ways away from your, your room, but still be right there in the vicinity of your building, your villa. Um, the other thing is location wise in Playa del Carmen, this is a great alternative to Cancun. Um, for me, Cancun is a little bit more for people who are a little bit younger, uh, maybe in their early to late 20s um, and they want to actually have that downtown life um, so they can go and party and do all that fun stuff. Um, I've stayed in a lot of resorts in Cancun. It's not that it's not beautiful. There's beautiful beaches there. The water is gorgeous. Um, it's just I like to be a little bit more relaxed when I go on vacation so I tend to stay a little bit further away from Cancun. I've stayed as far away as 90 minutes from the airport. Again, great location. Um, when you get that far out though, you do have to realize that some of the beachy area has a lot of coral and it's a little bit different than that beautiful white fluffy sand beach in Cancun. So um, just something to think about if you're going south of Cancun. Um, so a couple of the cons related to this particular resort, and these are in no particular order. Um, if you love really, really hot showers, it's not gonna happen here. Um, I'm not really sure where the disconnect is between the hot water and the cold water, but when you turn that water on and you have it on full blast hot and you let it warm up for you know five minutes or more, you're still gonna get into a very, very cool shower. It's not going to be ice cold, but it's going to be more like just outside temperature water. Um, I've tried different methods of turning this on the cold and switching it to the hot and going back and forth and trying to do all of that stuff. 
I've never got it any warmer than just kind of a um, outside temperature. So if you're out in the sun all day, it's going to be more refreshing. But if you want something really warm or really hot water, it just hasn't happened for me yet. And maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Um, but I think um, six vacations here and still not having hot water, it, it probably just doesn't exist at this particular resort. Um, another thing, as I mentioned before, this particular resort is called or they refer to their all-inclusive package as gourmet inclusive. So they're really focused on specializing in gourmet meals. Um, with that means you have to, for any specialty restaurant, such as the Thai, um, their Italian, um, I think there's a couple more and I'm not thinking of them right off the top of my head, but for their specialty restaurants, you actually do need reservations. Um, the challenge has been going into this particular resort when you make reservations, they require reservations two days in advance. So if you're only there three days, it's going to be really difficult to get reservations. They do not accept walk-ins. And um, I've recently been told that because they really focus on gourmet food, they want that food to be, um, the, the actual each dining time to be very, very limited so that they can ha really have great quality food, which means um, it's harder to get reservations when you have a really large resort trying to get into the gourmet restaurants. Having gone to the restaurants, I will say they are good. Um, there's nothing bad about them. It's just trying to get into the restaurant. Um, it's just a little bit more difficult. So staff wise, um, very good here. Um, it is a little bit challenging if you get a room that you're not particularly fond of to change rooms just because they tend to, especially during the summer months, um, be fo fully booked at 100% occupancy. So making those changes are really difficult. Um, if you do wanna order room service, they have that 24 seven. Um, for the most part, it's been very good. If you try their three chocolate mousse, you're gonna love it. I think I ordered it every single night that I was there. Um, Beach wise, it has a really, really nice beach area. The setup there is um, very nice and clean. There's a main pool that you can go to that's right off the beach, um, but there's lots of space for um, stretching out if you wanna be on the actual sand. There's lots of different um, lounge chairs for you to be in, um, lots of shade, um, lots of palm trees around there as well. Um, they've actually created wave breaks, so um, it tries to keep those waves a little bit less, and it also keeps, during hurricane season, as much of the um, seaweed off the, the beach as possible, but you know, that's just one of the things that happen. I mean, it's um, a natural environment, so during um, hurricane season, you're going to see that seaweed no matter where you go on the, um, on the River Amaya. Um, they also have a really, really cool... Um, pier and dock area where you can go out and take pictures which are really pretty. Um, they have on-site photographers if you want to schedule something with them and they will usually give you pretty good rates um, if you actually book time with them with the photographers, professional pro photographers. Um, they have a really great uh, taco stand that is on the beach. So if you like tacos, um, it's definitely worth it to go to the beach and have tacos there. Um, some of the best I've ever had actually um, there on the beach at that resort. Transportation around the resort. Um, this is also a little bit tricky. So I actually timed it the last time I was there to go from the hotel lobby all the way to the beach. It took me about five to six minutes at a um, just a normal walking pace, nothing like super fast or anything like that. So if you have anyone in your group or if you yourself need to be shuttled around or if you just want to be shuttled around, um, trying to catch the shuttles, it is a little bit more challenging. I had to wait anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes at times just because the shuttles were so busy. Another really, really cool thing about this resort that I find a little bit more unique um, compared to some of the other resorts which have like completely taken out most of the natural vegetation and put down concrete and you know uh, buildings and things like that pools um, this resort did keep one complete area that has a cenote open so you can actually walk along their little wooden path and see where the cenote is um, the last time i was there they did have a very small crocodile in the cenote that swims around um, they also had a little feral pig that was there that you got to take pictures of and they do have um a family of monkeys that either live on site or frequent that site. Um, I saw them this time at least 
three times, um, which was pretty cool. Uh, they do tell you not to feed them, but they are pretty approachable. Um, I saw uh, one lady um, actually had the monkey running all over, and these are not trained monkeys by any means. These are these are wildlife. Um, but that's really awesome if you want to you know, see the natural inhabitants of the Cancun and Playa del Carmen and Riviera Maya areas. All right, guys. Well, I think that was kind of my overview for the hotel. Um, would I recommend this? Yes, if you're not like a very, very particular foodie. So if you're looking for a little, really, really great food that you can get into the restaurants very easily, um, this one's gonna be a little bit more challenging with the reserva reservation process, um, but the food is good if you do get those reservations. Um, if you have a family, uh, families really, really love this resort. Um, having the natural habitat, the natural, um, cenote that's there, the kind of jungle rainforesty type area with the monkeys and all of the wildlife. Um, very, very cool. Kids really love it. Um, very clean beach for the most part, except during hurricane season, but that can't be helped. Um, and really, really great pool system. So if you have the opportunity to get one of those uh, swim up pools um, on the ground floor, I would definitely highly, highly recommend the one bed bedroom suite that has the swim up pool. Um, the kids absolutely love it. It's a great place um, to go out and have your morning coffee. It'd be really relaxing. And then get in the pools and just be in the pools all day long. Or after you've been at the beach all day, come back, get in the pool and just kind of relax um, before you get ready for dinner or whatever your evening activities are. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If there's any particular resort that you're looking for information on, feel free to drop it in the comments below and I'd be happy to give you any tips I have for um, resorts, hotels, um, pretty much any type of travel tips that you may need. I'd be happy to give that to you. So until next time, please enjoy the walkthrough of the resort, which is coming up next.